Hello Pisces, this is Lisa with Inspired Heart Intuitive here for your weekly reading for July 8th through the 14th of 2018. Here at this channel, we help you lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. Thank you very much for joining me. If you're a returning viewer, thank you, thank you. Please hit the like and subscribe and also new viewers. Once you see the reading, please hit the like and subscribe. Also, love comments. So at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me some comments down below about how this resonated with you. Love to know what's going on in your life, okay? All right, let's get started, Pisces. So overall energy for this week is the Seven of Cups in reverse, coming out of a time of like a lot of heavy decision making or some confusion about what decision to make. Also, that's then followed up by the Seven of Wands in the upright. So we're setting better boundaries, being protective of ourselves, our inner selves, which is amazing. However, it looks like we might ent enter into some conflict with um, someone that has in the past with the Ten of Swords in the reverse betrayed us. So let's see what's going on with all of that action because that's a very interesting story now, isn't it? The energy coming towards you is the Two of Pentacles in the upright. You're going to have some decisions you got to make here. Um could be about two people, two situations, whatever it is. Um, but there's a decision. Like, there's two things weighing on you very heavily. And considering the overall um, energy is you did not have clarity about which way to go before. But it appears you're coming out of the fog. And you're going to choose to protect yourself. The decision that you make is going to cause some conflict, but whoever it this was that betrayed you in the past or whatever the situation was, it could be the job, it could be whatever. But, you know, when we feel betrayed, right, in our past, when we feel like, what the crap, you know what I mean? Like, you give all that you can to a company, and if they betray you, that's, that's not cool. That's the worst thing in the world. Or a person. Totally not cool, right? But I'm glad that we're learning this week. We're starting to learn how to set boundaries. Because part of that we have to own. Part of that people walking all over us. Sometimes, a lot of times, it's us not setting proper boundaries so that we don't end up getting walked all over. Whole nother story for another day. But that's what I'm seeing. What you're bringing to the table is the star card in reverse. So you've kind of lost hope in the situation. Lost hope for the situation. You're not really want to invest in any more of it. This is not part of your dreams any longer. You're kind of like, me, okay, kind of done with that. Um, the obstacle, though, is the king of swords in the upright. So not quite sure if you're really ready to fully, like, um, to fully stand in your truth. Um... Not sure if you're really ready to do it. I think that's a problem. Okay. Um, so, but what's going to help us overcome is this Ace of Swords in the reverse. We're going to look at that a little bit. And then potential outcome is like not necessarily a new start or advice is the Sun in the reverse. So I want to understand why this, first of all, why the Ace of Wands is here as a potential um, what's going to assist us. So maybe it's not moving forward. Yeah, it looks like getting out of the um, situation is, you know, if this was some sort of business partnership or personal partnership, romantic partnership, what have you. Getting out of it is what's going to help us, right? Overcome it. Do not go for this new start. And then find your voice. Be able to finally say, hey, this is how I'm feeling, right? This is what's going on. Um... Yeah, you might need to cut off communication or just, like, really develop the communication within yourself first. Maybe write it down. Maybe pass it by somebody. You know, this is what I kind of want to say, like, role play it, whatever you have to do. Because right now you're not feeling like you really understand the direction that you need to be going in. Um, but you're kind of willing to, you're starting to be able to come out of your shell a little bit and really, like, not hold everything in, you're not really ready to go on and let it out, which is good. You need to, you need to express how you're feeling. All right. Why is the sun card here in the reverse? Why is the sun card here 
in the reverse, sun card in the reverse. You know, I, with the Six of Cups in the reverse and then Temperance in the upright, I think what you've been trying to do is you've been trying to mesh two things, two ideas, two people, maybe yours, your ideas of love and admiration and, yeah, um, maybe your ideas of relationship, maybe your ideas for uh, prosperity um, moving forward with someone else's and it's just not working. It's worked in the past. With the six of cups in reverse but now we're at a point now with the sun in the reverse where it's just not meshing this just like you guys can't come together to a, a unified um point of view but i also feel like you've been holding back in your communication a little bit and you've not really given the other individual an opportunity to really come forward with it right and to really step forward and to really like understand what you're feeling, right? So while all of this like breaking up the band kind of stuff is potentially where this needs to go, I also don't think that you've really let them know what they're how and in, in, in a way that they can understand how you're feeling and to give them the option and opportunity to make it right. Um, but by now, I, I'm concerned that it's it's pretty much You've already decided there's no way forward. I just hope that what can happen somehow is you guys can mutually come to a mutually beneficial decision together. That, um, you know, just be careful we're not burning bridges that we need to go back across. Or we may need to, because you never know when you might have to go back across that bridge. If this is a relationship, again, don't burn it all down to the ground without having some real, real good, clear, concise conversation. Don't just torch the whole damn thing, okay? That's honestly, I, I guess, on both sides. I feel about everything. Don't torch the whole thing, for Pete's sake. At least find out what the heck is happening, all right? And find out from that other person how they're feeling and make sure that you guys can come to an amicable decision, okay? Pisces it was pretty quick. Um, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Pisces, for this week. Um, again, hopefully this resonated with you. This is general, so if this doesn't necessarily resonate, boo, don't try to put that shoe on. If it don't fit, go to your your moon and your rising signs, and perhaps putting them all together will make a, this this sun sign reading a little bit um, more clear. Or this might not be your story this week, and that's okay. Um, but Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. And also, my contact information is below. Please feel free to contact me if you would like um, a personal reading to gain, gain some more clarity on the situation or an energy, a Reiki um, chakra energy healing, cord cutting, that type of session as well. We can do that over live video together. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And um, peace, love, joy, blessings be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. Namaste, my friends. I love you. Bye-bye.